Hey YouTube, it's Manny. So, we finally finished the loop, so we gotta leak test it next, right? However, the first thing we're gonna do, and this was recommended by our boy Frazzle, is to pressure test it first, right? So what I have here is EK Loops Accessory Pack. This is actually a leak tester. So instead of putting uh, liquid in here, we're gonna actually uh, pump it with air and maintain, see if it maintains the pressure. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, set it all up, hook it up, and uh, go from there, all right guys? All right, on to the video. All right, here's the box. This is EK Loop Accessories. Specifically, this one is the EK Loop Leak Tester. It's actually a pressure tester, um, if you want to get technical. We, uh, we're going to pump it full of air. It's got basically a bicycle pump. That's it. All right, so first thing is we got to uh, cut the tab. Nice box, orange on the outside, typical EK uh, uh, water block box. Inside is another cardboard box. And um, let's take it out. And then box inside the box. All right, this is a pretty good sturdy box. So things look like it's uh, well packaged. Open this up and inside, and there's another flap covering the actual parts itself. Open that up. Some foam in there, keeping it nice and tucked in. First item we see here is it's a connector of some sort. It's got two male ends on it rubber gaskets next part this looks like the pump yeah this is the pump let's open it up real quick and take a peek yeah it's definitely a pump comes with a pump and a little hose on the end close connects to the pump obviously and the last piece is the actual pressure gauge so there it is there and obviously the hose connects to that end right there, and then that's actually where the adapter goes into there and then plugged into the uh, PC. And the gauge goes from uh, white to uh, green, then red. It has a shutoff valve as well. That's it, guys. All right, here we are at the computer. We're gonna uh, set up the pressure gauge and then we're gonna plug it into, I'm actually gonna put it through the fill port. So we're just gonna unscrew the cap here and then uh, do it that way to verify the fill port is also um, got a good seal. All right, so we got this part. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is, so this this cap on the end, I figured out this is actually a, um, a block, so it's like, take this off so the air actually goes in. So this will prevent the air coming out of it um, if nothing's hooked on to it. So it just is a solid, I don't know if you guys can see in there, it's a solid, solid. So take our hose and just screw it into the end. You got the female end to the male end, screw that on. Uh, then we're going to take our, uh, actually, you know what, we're going to hold off on the pump right now. We're going to take our connector. Now, there's actually two different uh, size threads. Make sure you put the right size thread into the uh, pump, or I should say the pressure gauge right there. So just make sure it's got a good seal. And then from there, we're going to put it, plug it in our So I got to unscrew the cap off the end. Um, this is a pull. Um, Valve, so we're gonna pull it open so it's completely the valve's open. And we can actually put something in there. Then we're gonna actually screw the pressure gauge into it. Make sure it's on tight. You don't want it leaking. Alright, and then this moves back and forth. Now that that's on, we're gonna put the pump on the end here. That's all set. Now, uh, online, there's no no instruction manual came with it. Uh, online, they basically give you like roughly how much you should pump, whatever else. To be honest, I'm just gonna pump it up to about halfway between 0.5 and 0.7. We can take a quick peek at this. All right, so you can see it goes from zero to one. And there's a green and a red, right? So we're gonna pump it up to about halfway in the middle of the green. Then we're gonna hit, we're gonna lock the valve. And then we're gonna wait 15 minutes to make sure no pressure uh, leaves. The pressure stays the same, all right? All right, let's go pump it up. All right, all right, we, that's good, right? So simply we're just gonna just pump it up. You guys see the needle going up. We're gonna go, like I said, probably like halfway between 0.5 and 
right there is good. Lock it in place. And uh, we can take this part off. And we'll put this on just so it caps the end. All right. So now we're going to leave it there for 15 minutes, and uh, hopefully the pressure stays the same. It doesn't go down at all. Is it going down? It's like the same, same. Let's go take a closer look. All right, so there it is there. And we'll come back and check in 15 minutes. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes now, a little at past. This needle's in the same exact spot, so we're good to go with the pressure. All right, guys, there you have it. Completely pressure tested, uh, 15 minutes, no loss of air at all, right? And air molecules are smaller than water molecules, so we shouldn't have an issue with water. We are going to leak test it though, and that's the next video. But for now, we're done, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any uh, questions, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you smash the subscribe button, and you can follow me at Twitch, over at Twitch, at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening started at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.